Hi everyone, and welcome back. The other day I was asked how I made my parallel rule. It's such a simple device, I never really thought about it. But the problem is, I can't give measurements or anything of that nature, because what suits my machine definitely won't fit yours. The best thing I can do is show you the process I went through to make mine, and then you guys can make your own. So let's have a look at how it's made. Let's start by looking at the parts we need to make this. I have one piece of MDF, it's uh, 12 millimeters thick, and I've cut it the same width as my tabletop here. It's 100 millimeters wide. From the same piece of MDF, I cut a 30 millimeter wide strip and a 50 millimeter wide strip. Originally, this was the same length as this piece here. I also have two bolts which will fit into my T-slots here, so whatever T-slots you guys have, you'll need the equivalent for that. I've got some knobs and some washers to fix this here into the T-slots, and I've cut some lengths of aluminium. Now this is a 25 millimeter wide strip, and it's 100 millimeters long. Into this aluminium strip, I've drilled some holes. These are 12 and a half millimeters in from the bottom and 12 and a half millimeters from each side. And I've just done that on each end. I also have five super screws and four self-tapping screws. Now obviously I don't need to build myself a new one, so I'm just gonna show you how my old one was put together. These boards were ripped on the table saw, so they're nice and parallel. And I started by mounting this piece of MDF, my 30 millimeter wide strip, to the bottom of the 100 millimeter wide strip. Making sure that these edges are nice and flush, when I screw it together, will ensure that the board remains parallel to this edge here. And the last screw here. Okay. I'll just tighten these here up now. Okay. Now, I also drilled some holes to line up with my T-slots. So you'll need to do the same on yours. Now one thing I should mention is what I did is I ran, I put a uh, quarter inch cutter into my CNC machine and I ran it down across here. That ensures that this edge here is parallel with my X axis. If it's not parallel, this won't work. Right, so my next trick is I'm going to put in my 8mm bolt, the washer, and the knob there. Into each hole here. Now again, there's very little that's critical about this build. There's no real uh, measurement required here. These don't need to be 100 mils long or 4 inches long. They can be 5 inches long, whatever you, whatever you wish. The main critical parts here is you make them identical. If they're not identical, then the ruler will not work. If you make them identical, you won't have a problem. Next, I took my strip of wood, which was the same length as this piece here, and I just sat it against my 100 mil strip, so this is the 50 mil wide piece. Then using my square, I just drew a line down here and a line here. It's critical that this line here be, be the same distance in from the edge here. So in this particular instance, it is 95 millimeters in from 
each edge here. Next, I measured down, in this case, 25 millimeters here and here. It's critical that these holes be the same distance down from the top at each end. And likewise, I measured in 20 millimeters in here and here. Again, these two distances must be the same as each other. If they're not the same, it will not work properly. You will not get your parallel rule. But the actual measurement is not critical. It could be 25, could be 30, could be 10. Whatever sort of suits you. This is made 25 because it was the middle of the board. Just to make it look nice. Okay, next we take our aluminium strip. And we simply screw it down. Whoops. To the board. Goes without saying, of course, that we pre-drilled these holes here. I'll just quickly screw these in here. And the same on the side here. You want to make the holes in the aluminium to be just the right size so that the screws can turn freely in the aluminium without binding but not so loose that they are sloppy because you do not want these here sloppy and you want them to be held firmly and there we have it now we simply swing our parallel rule here and we mark here swing it this way here and mark here that's going to tell us where we cut our board here so that it doesn't hang uh, a half a mile over each, each end. You can keep it longer if you wish. Um, I've just made mine flush so that it just looks nice when it's folded up. When you move it like so, you should find this lines up parallel along here. And likewise, when we go this way here, this board should, again should be parallel so basically, it's as simple as that. If you're careful drilling the holes in your MDF and aluminium parts, you should find yourself with a nice, accurate parallel rule. I hope you do build one, and you find as useful as I have on my machine. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll catch up with you guys again later. Cheers.